CAF President Issa Hayatu faces a stiff challenge as he has to the polls to be re-elected. So in this interview, he plays down the age question while writing off his opponent as well as touting his credentials. I am 70 years. Blatter was 79 before he was suspended. Yao Havland left FIFA at 84. I don't know why Africans are excited about seeing me go. Madagascar's FA President Ahmad Ahmad is banking on financial transparency as a key selling point in his bid to unseat Issa Hayato when elections are held in Ethiopia on March 16. He has been speaking on his plans to lead CAF if given a chance. Myself and my team, I prepared a program to change. That's why our slogan is now to change. Confederation of African Football, where Ghanaian football legend Abedi Ayupele has backed CAF President Ahmad Ahmad for success. The new CAF President is somebody I respect very, very much. He's someone who's been in uh, CAF for so many years. For me, they haven't laid anything specifically down for us to do. But what I know is I had a long discussions with him in Morocco and the future looks bright. Given that to the federations, what control mechanisms are being put in place by FIFA to monitor the proper use of funds that you allocate to the federations? This increased investment comes also with an increased control. It's normal. It's normal if we bear in mind what happened in the past. We don't want to go back to the past. And I said this already, and I will say this again very, very clearly. Compliance with governance is crucial. We are investing in it. And if somebody still believes that he can enrich himself illicitly or illegally with football money, then he should leave immediately because otherwise he will be caught and if he will be caught, he will be sanctioned. For years, he became an icon to many young people across the African continent. Today, he remains a shining example of that African resilient story. Georgia is our guest here on African News. Are you still interested in being president of Liberia? Well, uh, uh, I'll be uh, declaring on the 28th of April, you know, and uh, our people are gearing up. And uh, uh, of course, I want to uh, participate in the process. The world must be aware that I'm a good person and uh, I, I can form cooperations and collaborations for my people to work, and, uh, and I'm ready to work. I've done so much for Africa. I think uh, in the governance process, I can, I can bring more on the table. I'm standing right here at the 38,000 capacity Stade de la Métier in Libreville, where finishing touches are being made to the facility ahead of what is expected to be a grand opening ceremony on Saturday. The second leg of the semi-finals of the UEFA Champions League promises a lot of fireworks with Real Madrid and Juventus expected to secure qualification to the final. So Chief Deputy News Editor at Guardian Sports, Ed Arons, has been previewing the second leg. You can never say never, so there's still a very slim chance for both of them, I think, to get back into it. Francesco Totti made the final appearance of his 25-year Roma career as they beat Genoa to secure a Champions League group stage qualification sport. So the 40-year-old forward who has scored a record 307 goals in 786 games for his only club. We're watching Mahaba here on TV3, our coverage of the African Cup of Nations. But it's now time to hear from a legend who plays for uh, Mali, Frederick Canute, who played 39 times for Mali and scoring 23 goals. Talking about the AFCON 2015. Yeah, of course, I'm proud, I'm proud to be here after playing this uh, competition a few times. Uh, now I come in a completely different framework. African football now does not deal with big names. With if you see this Tunis and um, the Cape Verdeans, they are doing quite yes, well. Yes, yes, quite, quite. You are quite right because nobody knows some of the players on this Cape Verdean team, but they come out and they come out strong. See you same time next week. My name is Juliet Bewa.